hello everybody hello hello tribe welcome back today i will be sharing with you some african vegetables that you can cultivate outside of africa out here in the diaspora most importantly i will share with you where you can find the seeds Now let's get into the different types of African vegetables that you can cultivate out here in the diaspora. As I call the vegetables, I'm going to just put where you can get the seeds somewhere on the screen. The very first vegetable I would like to share with you is the bitter leaf or bitter leaves. You can propagate bitter leaves from the seeds or from the stems. Starting the bitter leaves by stem propagation ensures that you can harvest the bitter leaves sooner and have a longer season of harvesting. The second vegetable that does very well out here in the diaspora is uh, the water leaves. Water leaves, also known as Talinum triangulare, is also very important for many of us from Central West Africa. Water leaves are very low maintenance. You don't need to do much. It does very well. And if you are in like zone nine where it can get very hot, hot in the summer water leaves are wonderful during the summer they love that warm humidity um, around zone 9a where i am the third vegetable i would like to share with you african greens or amaranth those are very low maintenance as well extremely nutritious they grow very easily but depending on where your garden is you might um, suffer from pest issues with this vegetable i don't I don't normally like growing a lot of greens. It volunteers itself in my garden anyway. The fourth vegetable is country njama, njama on jamsu. That is the garden huckleberry. If you are from Cameroon, you know that this vegetable is very important for us, especially people of my tribe. We grew up eating a lot of this njama njama. So it does well out here. I can tell you that for a fact because I grew up it so many times. And the fifth vegetable that I would like to share with you is sweet bitter leaves. I know I mentioned bitter leaves before, but the sweet bitter leaves is different from the regular bitter leaves. Now, I don't know why they call it sweet bitter leaves. I guess because it is not bitter. Bitter leaves are bitter, but sweet bitter leaves don't taste bitter at all. The two are used in the same recipes interchangeably. Sweet bitter leaves are very easy to cultivate and um, they do very well out here in the USA. If you are not the kind that likes to deal with you know, processing the regular bitter leaves, I'm going to highly recommend that you try your regular sweet bitter leaves. Very easy to process and you can use that vegetable in much of the same recipes as you would regular bitter leaves. Vegetable number six, the okra. I would highly recommend that you cultivate one or two or three okra plants. Do not try to grow more than that because you will have to keep up with harvesting. So if you don't have the time to go to the backyard and pick okra almost every day when they start producing, do not plant a lot of them, trust me. The seventh vegetable, fluted pumpkin. This is what Nigerians refer to as ugu, and in Cameroon, we call it the okongobong. This vegetable does well out here in the diaspora. Only problem is it is very difficult to source the seeds or the seedlings. But if you are able to lay your hands on them, I'm going to recommend that you grow them. They do well out here. Number eight, garden eggs. The garden egg vegetable especially the white one that is what i am going to recommend it does really well here i am planning to cultivate a lot of those in my garden this year i tried them last year they did so well but um, i did not start them on time this year i'm going to start them way early to ensure that i have a very long season of harvesting another one is the african garden egg leaves this is different from the garden eggs the garden eggs you eat the fruit but the african garden egg leaves which some people refer to as boma and in cameroon we refer to it as anchia 
the leaves are the edible part of the plant. It looks very similar to the garden egg, but they are not quite the same. It produces a fruit that looks like the garden egg, but it is very bitter and in my experience, not edible. The leaves, however, are edible, very nutritious and medicinal as well. They do very well out here in the diaspora. I had a lot of it in the garden last year. And number 10, the corn or maize, as we used to call it. Nothing beats that sweet, fresh roasted corn. If you are craving sweet, roasted, fresh corn, go ahead and plant a couple of them in your garden. Just make sure that you have enough space to dedicate for the corn because you need a lot of it for cross-pollination, for pollination to occur. If you don't have a lot of the corn growing in one place, it is not going to be properly pollinated and you end up with that corn that you have a whole cup with like five grains of corn on it. Number 11, hot peppers. A lot of African cuisine is very spicy. So if you are like me and you like peppers, grow them. They are super easy to grow and you don't even need more than two plants in your garden. They can supply you with enough peppers to last a whole season if you know what you're doing. If you are a beginner gardener, consider just buying the pepper plants, the seedlings from like Home Depot or Walmart or your local garden store. They usually have these habanero peppers that they've already germinated for you. Just take that and go put that in your garden if you're just beginning. But if you are somebody who's more advanced with gardening, you can go ahead and start the peppers from seeds. The next vegetable, pumpkin leaves. We do eat the leaves of pumpkins in Africa. In my experience, you don't need a lot of the pumpkin plants in your backyard if you're cultivating them for leaves. About three to five is plenty. If you don't have a lot of space, the pumpkin plant can just crawl and take over your entire garden, so be careful. Number 13, egusi. This is a very important seed in our African cooking, and yes, it can do well here depending on where you are. I have cultivated the egusi before, but I planted it rather late in the growing season, um, and it produced the fruit, but frost got here before the fruit could mature. If egusi is something that you're interested in, you can definitely try it. Number 14, cow peas. Some of us from Cameroon, we eat the leaves of the cow pea plant. We eat the leaves, we refer to it as war. It's a quick crop as well. It can go from, you know, you, you planting the beans to harvesting in less than a month. And this plant is also important because it returns nitrogen to the soil. Number 15, cocoyams or taro roots. We use the leaves in things like cocky corn, cocky beans, kwakoko, things like that. If you can find the corms as they call them, you can just put a couple of them in the backyard and it will produce enough leaves. And last but not the least for me, peanuts. You can definitely grow some peanuts, but just be careful because animals do love the peanuts as well. It just depends on where you are. So those are 16 different vegetables that you can cultivate outside of Africa. I know they do well because I have cultivated all 16 of them at some point. Don't try growing all of them at once. It's going to overwhelm you so fast that you will hate gardening. If you are just starting with gardening, pick three to five at the most. If you have done gardening for a couple of years, maybe you are a veteran, you can pick five to seven. And if you are an advanced gardener, you can do more than seven. It takes a lot to manage all the balls that will be in the air. That coupled to our already busy schedules might not be something that you can sustain. So I hope this video was valuable to you. I hope it gave you some ideas on what you can cultivate and also where you can find the seeds because I know that it is not easy to find the seeds. It's not like we can walk into a regular garden supply store and pick up a pack of water leaf seeds, right? We have to look online. We have to look to, you know, gardeners like myself 
to um, be able to find the seeds out here. Thank you for watching. Please do not head out without subscribing if you have not yet done so, giving the video a thumbs up, please, and maybe sharing this video with one or two friends or on your social media handles. Thank you so much. And until next time, grow a garden because when you grow a garden, grow health. Bye.